What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning, happy Sunday, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Listen, even if you don't have any kids, if you own a pet, you are still a mother in my eyes. So happy Mother's Day to everyone. Last night, Saturday Night Live, who watched it? Come on. I know some of you stayed up and watched it. Many of you probably watched it for the first time. But what happened? <laughs> exactly what I told you was going to happen in the video yesterday. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into XRP and we are going to focus this video on where XRP is going, our projected time frame, what we think is going to happen next, and how high we are going to run. Without further ado, let's just jump into it. Total market cap. It's down 2.52%. Thank you, Dogecoin. Sitting at 2.37 trillion. Still a beautiful number. The Bitcoin dominance is at 50, uh, 44.9%. Excuse me. As the Ethereum dominance continues to go up, sitting at 18.4%. Bitcoin struggling to break 60K. I've been telling you for a couple of weeks now, BTC needs to pass 60,000. If it breaks 60K, we are on our way to 80 to to $100,000 Bitcoin. And then we are going to see an even larger sell-off into alts. But every time Bitcoin gets around like 59.1, 59.2, it drops back down. So one of two things is going to happen. Bitcoin is going to go back down under 50. And we're going to get a crazy alt season started now. Or Bitcoin's going to break that 60,000 barrier. What do I think is going to happen? I'll tell you what's going to happen. Bitcoin's going to break 60K, people. We're going to run up. We're going to see an 80 to $100,000 Bitcoin. The news is all going to get back in. You're going to start healing for, hearing from your Pomps, your Jasons, you name it. You know all those guys, your Berries on Twitter, pumping Bitcoin. They're going to do the little CNBC, Fox Business, MSNBC news rounds. New money's going to come in just to get destroyed once they don't even make a 2x on their Bitcoin. As there are other projects out there that are going to give you a 10 to 100x. Think about that. So last night, Saturday Night Live, let's talk about it. Dogecoin. I told you it was going to happen. This thing was going to get smoked. Oh, it got smoked. It is down 32%. So many people were buying the top around 60, 70 cents. Hoping for a push to $2. It didn't happen. You want to know what actually happened? Elon Musk did a skit. And he said, Dogecoin was just a huge hustle. The biggest backer of your precious coin just said it was a huge hustle. You, Where do you think this thing is going? The days are numbered for Doge. Listen, Mark Cuban and the Dallas Mavericks can only do so much because people have to pay in it. He's not giving out Dogecoin. He's making people pay in it. How many people do you think are going to pay in Dogecoin at a Mavericks game? How many people do you think that a Maverick fans even know what cryptocurrencies are or know how to get cryptocurrencies? Not many. And yet you want them to pay in it. I don't care if you give them a 40% discount to pay in Doge. It's not going to do anything. Dogecoin's in some serious trouble. It was called a hustle coin. It has no utility. No one's even building the top of it. Be careful. One thing we are, we are seeing right now, Cardano's on a nice little run. I believe two dollars is coming. It's right around the corner. But our beloved XRP is sitting at a dollar forty nine. It all is good. Stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to show you two of my favorite people who've been doing TA, who really break everything down, who really pinpoint where we're going, and I'm going to talk about it. But first, I want to go over Dogecoin. So here's the skit. Let's have a listen. Thank you, Michael. Well, Boy, now the Doge father. Uh, okay, Doge father. So, yeah! <laughs> hey, hey, hang on. So, I got, we got some questions. So, for our viewers who may not know anything about this, what are cryptocurrencies? They're a type of digital money, but instead of being controlled by a central government, they're decentralized using blockchain technology. Hmm. <laughs> and lately, prices have been soaring for cryptos like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and especially Dogecoin. Oh, right. <laughs> Now, what, what is Dogecoin? Well, it actually started as a joke based on an internet meme. Mm -hmm. But now it's taken off in a very real way. Okay, but what is Dogecoin? Hey, hey, hey. Well, what it is was created in 2013 people? and has a no circulating knows. supply of 117 billion coins, of which 113 billion have already been mined. All right, cool. So what is Dogecoin? <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's a digital currency. Like, okay, for instance, this is a dollar, right? <laughs> It's real. Say sort of. Sort of yeah, okay. real. Yeah. So what is Dogecoin? 
About as real as that dollar. How come? Are you making any sense of this? Me? Well, I've, I've actually been reading a lot about it, yeah, and uh, I'm trying to diversify my investment portfolio. Mm -hmm. uh, my question is, what is Dogecoin? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. It's a good question. Well, it's the future of currency. It's an unstoppable financial vehicle that's going to take over the world. I, I get that, but uh, what is it, man? <laughs> I keep telling you, it's a cryptocurrency you can trade for conventional money. Oh, so it's a hustle. Yeah, it's a hustle. <laughs> Why didn't you say that, man? Those fall there, everybody. It's a hustle. To the moon! There you go. Doge is a hustle, people. That, hey, your number one influencer, your number one marketer calling your coin a hustle? Come on. I'm telling you, there, there is no future here. There is no future in Dogecoin, but if you got an early, congratulations, you made a ton of money because Elon pumped the hell out of it. But here's the funny thing. Look at all these tweets begging Elon to save Dogecoin and to put a tweet out about it, to do something. Hey, Elon, make a statement about Dogecoin. Please say to the moon. Hey, Elon, can you tweet something about Dogecoin? My friend is losing money. Please, please shield Doge. I'm losing money. Elon Musk, can you please let the price go back up so Dogecoin, this is very, very rude. Look, it sounds to me like Dogecoin is a security, relying on a central entity to pump Dogecoin. Elon Musk is your central, your central entity. Isn't that what the, what the SEC declares a security, people? Am I crazy here? Because I believe that's what they say security is, when you rely on one person or one entity to bring value to an investment that you have invested in. Look at all these tweets, people begging Elon to save Doge because they have lost so much money. I feel bad because my buddy from up north got the Doge. I don't feel that bad. He put in like 50 bucks at 30 cents, 40 cents. He made a couple bucks. Good for him. But what happened? He tweeted me yesterday before Saturday Night Live because I told you I was right. I didn't say it. Then I said, okay, whatever you say, buddy. I'm not going to him this morning. I'm a nice guy. But look at this. Dogecoin got crushed. And then to top it all off, people are trying to sell their Doge. They're trying to get out. They're trying to escape. They're trying to cut their losses as much as they can. But they can't get out because Robinhood, oh no. We're currently experiencing issues with crypto trading. We're working to resolve as soon as possible. One of the reasons I do not use Robinhood. Second reason, you don't own your crypto on Robinhood. Third reason is Robinhood could sell off your position anytime that they want. Read the disclaimer. It's in there. It's an absolute joke. And then, enough about Doge. From one of the skits here, listen to this. My man Goop at WGHOOP. Give him a follow. He's a tinfoil hat. This is absolutely crazy. He says, anyone made a connection of thoughts that on tonight's Saturday Night Live show has a court case with Elon Musk that just resembles the Ripple case and the Monica Long replica? Look at this. This is one of the lawyers. I'm not going to play the clip. We'll just get, I mean, it's a bad look at her. Tell me that doesn't look like Monica Long. That is like an exact replica of Monica Long. Absolutely. I mean, that's just too crazy. I don't even know what to think about that. And then for Michael, at Val Five Langs, many crypto assets are security, says the head of the SEC, Gary Gensler. Listen to me. This space is going to get shooken up. They're going to shake the tree. There are a lot of securities in the space. There are no, doubt, no doubts about it. And listen to this. I said this before, and I got a lot of slack. I got heat for it. I don't care. I'm saying it again. Stellar, XLM. Listen, I hold a little XLM. Don't get me wrong here. If XRP and Ripple's deemed a security, XLM is deemed a security. And don't you tell me, oh, it's a non, it's a, it's a, it's a non, uh, what is it? It's a charitable organization. Oh, it's a not for profit. Those are the words. It's a not for profit. It can't be security. That's like saying, I'm a cop. I can't get a speeding ticket. Just because you register as a non for profit doesn't mean that gets you out of all of the security laws out there. It doesn't mean that it's, it's an escape goat. That is the biggest bullshit crap I have ever heard. That's like me saying, hey, I'm a cop. I can go 90 in the 45 or I can go 80 in the school zone. No, it doesn't work like that. You still have to play by the rules. You still need to play by the, the fairness and the regulatory policies that are out there. So if Ripple and XRP is security, what do you think is going to happen with XLM? What do you think Jed's been doing with this XRP? He's a founder. He had XRP. He's selling it to pump up his XLM. You're going to tell me that's not security? Of course it is. Pay attention, people. A lot is coming. You think your fancy little coin is safe. It's not. 
Look what happened to XRP after eight years. Think about that. And then we move over. This is just around the corner of Flare. We are almost, we're about eight weeks on the long end away from Flare Networks launching and unlocking value for a bunch of different coins. This is one of the remaining pieces for XRP to really take off. This is the final piece. I think everything else is done. I think we're waiting on Flare to unlock value for XRP. RP people remember we get that spark token which some the IO user worth two dollars on bid true that's crazy I can't wait all right let's get to the TA part of this of this section let me tell you where XRP is going let's not waste any more time Dark Defender puts out spot on we hit a dollar 42 we discussed a short-term bearish trend on 7th and we said yesterday it's about to end and it will we will start a new EW shortly, all time high will salute us. Check out this update. It's aligned with our previous target. The third leg will be in June. Let me blow this up for you. You can see this little red circle and a little squiggly line. That's where we are. We're dollar forty-two. We can actually go back down to a dollar thirty-three before we start moving up. Okay. So as I've been saying, two dollars is ahead. Dollar ninety-six is a massive massive level we break through dollar 96 we're going to be over two dollars then we're going to be talking about the all-time high okay that's coming so keep your eyes on it dollar 33 it's in play all-time high is coming at some point next month i believe that two dollars is coming this month i believe we get a push above two dollars this month but i'm not done i want to show you terror who's been spot on if you don't follow or give her a follow you tell her Good old Ripple Van Winkle, XRP News underscore sent you. She says, I told you, XRP doesn't want to leave out me. $1.48 and $1.42 have hit perfectly. Now that I'm strapped in, LFG. I'm not going to tell you what that is. But let's go, people. Here's her, her fibs that she's drawn out. All the greens, all the fibs. $1.42, boom. There it is. It is time. Accumulation is done. We are about to take off. $2 is in sight. I think our first stop is going to be in a dollar seventy-six range. We pass through that, pass to dollar ninety-six. You're looking at a two-dollar XRP. Once we break that two-dollar XRP, there is no looking back. All-time high comes. We get a little bit of a retrace from that three dollars and sixty cent region, probably back to like a two eighty. After that, we're shooting up to five dollars, and that's just the beginning of it. Later half of the year, we're going up to breach double-digit XRP. And Ripple Van Winkle's prediction from last December of a $10 XRP comes true. My buddy who bet me XRP would never hit $5 happens next month, and he owes me 20000 XRP. Things look great. Strap in. The best is yet to come. Do not let this market fool you. We are nowhere by being done. We have a solid six to eight months left in us. Get ready because the fun is going down second half of the year. That's going to do it for me. Happy Mother's Day. Listen, wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.